It is sort of like an engineer Olympic. I should add the first engineer Olympics of its kind. So uh, the Hyperloop project is basically a high-speed transportation system concept. Uh, this idea was introduced by Elon Musk back in 2013. And in 2015, uh, SpaceX uh, put forth a, uh, an international competition to design a prototype for this project. We are competing against teams from uh, Europe, from uh, Japan, from uh, the rest of Asia, and multiple states in the United States right here. It was very exciting. It was. It felt like the moment that all our hard work over the past year or so, a year and a half, had finally come to fruition when we shipped the pod out from Cincinnati to California. Uh, the idea is to connect two cities using a full-length tube and uh, have a pod levitate inside that tube at very high speeds. And when I say very high speeds, it means closer to 700 miles an hour. How, the, how it works is we've got like a list of uh, checkpoints that we need to go through. Uh, the team morale is pretty high. People have been working on getting some testing work done since the morning. Is it because of the alignment of the wheel? Is it not placed properly? And or? as far as the UC team goes, and as far as I go, in fact, I the first time I heard about the project was right outside the rec center here. Um, a friend of mine approached me and he said, hey, I have this really cool idea that we want to work on. Would you be interested? And that's how it all started. The only thing is uh, we ended up blowing a couple of motor controllers. No, no, no. That one was touching the wheel. We're not sure what it is. It's, we've got a lot of magnets on here. It could be something to do with uh, uh, how we deal with the magnets. Uh, We'd be, be trying to sort that out. So in terms of the, the technical problem, we had the actuators did not work the, the way they were expected to work. Uh, and because of that, the motor controllers kind of malfunctioned. And uh, the expected outcome that, that we were looking at, uh, we were not sure if that was going to happen. So what we've been trying to do is uh, uh, redistribute our uh, current resources in terms of the electrical equipment. These were, I would say, you know, dark times. Uh, we were not sure what was going on. The electrical engineering team did an amazing job trying to uh, fix the situation because we knew what we meant, what, what this meant to all of the students. We knew what it meant to the uh, the whole team, what it meant to the university. So we were not going to give up. And uh, this was something that people didn't think of when they joined UC. So. All of a sudden, you're like, hey, I'm going to go to SpaceX and work on a project that Elon uh, came up with. It's, it's one of those dreams, dream come true moments.